Hello friends, this is Veronica from House of Sid. Welcome to my channel. Um, you know what time it is here. It's cafecito time. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We make videos on coffee reviews, coffee recipes, coffee adventures, and all things from the wonderful world of coffee. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I hope you have subscribed to the channel because we do have a really, really cool, fun giveaway right now for an espresso machine. So if you haven't subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe and I'll leave a link to the video where I have all the details for the giveaway. For today's video, we are going to do a review of this coffee. I had a um, mega Nespresso haul video and a lot of you said you wanted me to do reviews on some of the coffees. This one was one that a lot of people said that they weren't familiar with. Um, I myself was not familiar with it. Um, actually, I don't think I had ever noticed it on the website, and it's called Capricio. And that's what it looks like. The little green color, nice dark green color caught my attention. It is an espresso, and it is an intensity five. So today I'm going to do a review of it, and I'm also going to show you a recipe uh, to make with this capsule. So make sure you stick around and um, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications for our videos, which are uploaded every Wednesday and Sunday. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, Capricio is an espresso, intensity five, so it's 1.35 ounces. Uh, aromatic profile is rich and distinctive. Aromatic notes are cereal. Um, and now that I've had my, my Nespresso machine, for almost about a year, I noticed that the cereal no coffees have been some of my favorites. So whenever I see a coffee with that as an aromatic note, I really want to try it and catches my attention. This one is $7, so it's one of the um, less expensive ones. Um, and it says it is a uh, balanced bouquet, light acidic and very characteristic <laughs> cereal note. Uh, it is composed of Arabicas from South America, including Brazil. Um, an ideal proportions, a touch of light roasted robust. Okay, so um, yeah, let's open it up. So I'm gonna open it up here and look at the capsule. I really, really like this color actually, the beautiful green capsule. Um, it does have the name on there. Um, so yeah. Let's get it going here. So the profile is rich and distinctive and aromatic notes is cereal. So let's see if we smell any little cereal notes here. It does give me a little um, cereal notes like some of the other ones. That has pretty good crema, you guys could see that. Yeah, it's not too dark, which I think some coffees I like intense, but some of the espressos I like more of like the medium. So let's give it a taste. Oh. Mmm, I like it. It doesn't have a whole bunch of information. It just tells you um, cereal notes, um, so South American Arabicas, balance. I think it is balance. Balance with the perfect amount of Brazilian Arabica and a touch of Robusta. So the Robusta coffee tends, from what I've read, I'm not an expert, tends to be a little bit stronger, bolder, so it does have a little bit of boldness, but not too much. It, it's pretty well balanced. Hmm, I like it. It's, it's mild. It doesn't have like a strong aftertaste because I noticed some of them, like when I did the uh, La Cumplida Refinada, it had a very strong aftertaste and I did not like that because it like lingers on your tongue. Um, and unless it's like something sweet, I don't want it lingering on my tongue. So this one's pretty good. 
Um, not sweet, but it has like a mild, like almost like toasty note. I, I can't explain it, but it's pretty good. So definitely if you've never tried Capricio, give it a try. I like it. And I think this is going to be good for our recipe. Oops. Uh, again, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know, it wouldn't be a house of Sid video if I didn't drop stuff or made a mess. That's just how we are here. <laughs> We're imperfectly perfect or whatever the saying goes. So yeah, the Capricio is good. I like it. Mild, balanced, um, pretty good. So now let's do our drink. So make sure you stick around because I'm going to get our things ready for our drink that our coffee drink coffee recipe that we're going to make with the Capricio. So stick around. Okay, now it's time to make our coffee recipe with the Capricio and the recipe that I thought would go well with this one because it's kind of medium, mild, Cyrano is making me. a churro latte if you love churros uh like i do then you're gonna love this drink so it mimics the flavors of a churro the cinnamon the sugar a little bit of vanilla in a latte so this is just a recipe i came up with i just kind of thought wow that might be pretty good so that's what i'm calling it a churro latte so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some sugar i used about one tablespoon of sugar and I already have my sugar in here and about a quarter teaspoon give or take depending on how cinnamony you like it of cinnamon so what you're going to do is you're going to mix the cinnamon and the sugar and you guys could see that so I mix the cinnamon and the sugar together that's how they make the churro they mix the cinnamon and the sugar after it's done frying they dip the churro in the cinnamon and sugar mixture so you got to do that first so um, once you mix your cinnamon and your sugar um, and I'll leave the exact measurements down below like I said about a tablespoon of sugar and about a quarter of cinnamon you don't want to do a one-to-one -one ratio because the cinnamon will overwhelm it so there we go okay um, and then we're going to make a two shots of of coffee. I'm going to use the same one because we don't want to waste coffee. So you're going to need two shots of your Capricio or any other espresso you like. There we go. My bad. I, th I thought it was going to fit. Um, then you're going to get your milk. You're going to get about six ounces of milk. I'm using 2%. I already frothed it, froth the milk and it's hot. So I'm putting it in here to mix with the cinnamon, the sugar. Ooh, yeah. Then I'm also going to put some vanilla syrup. You can put vanilla extract if you like. I have the sugar-free vanilla syrup and I'm using the sugar-free one because I already have the sugar from the um, cinnamon sugar, so I don't want it too sweet. So I'm gonna put about Mm, yeah, I'll do about a tablespoon of the syrup. Um, and I'm going to mix it all up. I guess I should have done the coffee first, but that's okay. Do it any way you like. Any order you like is fine. So we're going to mix that up. And I know this is going to make a mess, but that's okay. Ooh, two shots of Capricio. And I should have brewed the coffee over it, but I didn't, which is okay. So you're going to put in your two shots of espresso. Like I said, I'm using the Capricio, but you can use any one you want. And you mix it up. And if you want it extra cinnamony, you can put a little extra cinnamon on the top. But yeah, churro latte. Let's try it. Ooh, it's already cinnamon enough for me, so I'm not going to put any extra. 
but you do have to mix it well. And you could see the little speckles of cinnamon in there. Mm. This is actually pretty, pretty good. I think I would have used a little more um, coffee into the cinnamon and the sugar, then add your milk and syrup. Or you could add the syrup into the coffee and then your steam milk. But this is really good. It actually does give me churro vibes. <laughs> churro, um, Disneyland churro vibes. <laughs> I miss Disneyland and their churros. But that is one recipe you can make with the Capricio. It's pretty good because it is mild. So you really get like the cinnamon vanilla flavors out of it, but you still have like the coffee um, espresso in it. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and this recipe. I know some of you asked for reviews and recipes. So I thought today let's try something new. Let's do a review and a recipe. So I hope you guys like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know if you tried making the churro latte. Um, <clears throat> again, you could play with the proportions. You could add more sugar, less cinnamon. I think I put a little too much cinnamon in this um, because it's like settling at the bottom, but that's okay. I like it cinnamony flavor. We just have to mix it a little better. So definitely make this and um, brew the coffee into the sugar and the cinnamon. When I tested this recipe, that's what I did. And it de definitely came out better, but that's okay. We're learning, we're not, we're, I'm not a barista, I'm not a professional. So um, as, long as, as long as the coffee tastes good, I'm happy with that. So, so this is one coffee that I enjoyed and I'm definitely going to buy it again. Let me know if you're planning to buy the Capricio, if you've tried Capricio before, and if you make a churro latte, yum. If you love cinnamon and churros, definitely give it a try. Mm. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you like this new setup. I'm try I have new lighting. I have a new setup. You know, we got to... We got to up our cafecito game here. So make sure you're giving our videos a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Go enter the giveaway and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.